Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand. Once we have made the model uh, in Rapid Miner using neural network, then how we can predict for new data set. So we will go in Rapid Miner. First of all, we will load the data set. I request that kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of lecture. I'll connect hardware to the result. I'll press the play button. You can see here the attributes which are considered are age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting BS, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, old pick, ST slope, and the heart disease. The problem here is we are having the heart disease that is a classification problem we have to solve. On the basis of these attributes, we want to classify that what are the factors which are contributing for the heart disease. So I'll go in design and I'll activate the operator which is select attribute operator. I'll drag it and drop it here. Now why this operator is necessary, let us understand. In your original data set, there may be many variables, but to create the model, we are interested in, in only few of them. So I'll activate the operator from here. I'll go in subsetting, select the attributes, and I'll transfer those attributes which are matter of my interest or rather from which I want to make the model. Age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old pick, resting blood pressure. I'll transfer it here, apply. Now I'll activate the operator, which is set the rule. This is necessary because neural network falls in the category of supervised learning techniques in which we have to specify the dependent variable or the target variable. I'll activate the heart disease from here. Make sure that you label it. Once this is done, you will like to have I have to activate the cross validation window from here. So cross validation operator is activated. Simply drag it and drop it. I'll disconnect the spline at present. Now, any operator, if it consists of two layers, it means that there is a main process and the sub process is there, or rather parent process and child process is there. When you will double click on it, you will enter into the sub process. You can see that the screen has been divided into training and testing data set. Now, I'll activate the neural network algorithm. I'll simply drag it and drop it here. I'll connect training with the training, model with the model, example through. Now, I'll activate the operator which is apply the model operator. I'll drop it here. Connect model with the model testing with the unlabeled. Now you will have to activate the operator which is the performance operator. When you write on performance there are many types of operators which will emerge. You can see here the performance which is of classification, binomial classification or regression. Basically our case study is related to the classification problem and therefore I'll activate the classification problem. I'll connect label with label performance with performance, example with a test. By pressing this up arrow, I will enter into the main process. I will connect mode with the result, example with the result, test with the result and the performance with the result. By pressing the play button, I will get the result, the accuracy score I will get. Once the accuracy score and the model is approved, then only we will go for running or then only we will go for predicting on test data. So if you want to predict for test data, what you will have to do, you will have to disconnect some splines. So I'll start disconnecting from here. One, two, three, four. Now I will enter the new data. Now this data is completely new. This data has or rather model has never seen this data and we want to predict on this test data. So all the pre-processes I will carry out 
copy I'll connect the spline here now I will apply the model from here I'll drop it here I'll connect model with model and example with unlabeled now I'll connect label with the result and model with the result once this is done i'll run the play button i'll go in example set where i have given the completely new data set to the algorithm there are 10 new cases which had been given to the algorithm now in the first case the prediction was correct no no second correct third was correct fourth was correct fifth was correct and you can see the predictions are almost near and we are getting good prediction accuracy so this is a way you can predict the new data in neural network using rapid miner for more videos on rapid miner kindly subscribe to my channel you can refer my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos of rapid miner please uh, press the like button and you can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.